Well, Australia already boasts a few famous Hemsworths. Now it has another one. He too is larger than average for his species and has amassed quite the fan base. But this Hemsworth isn't an actor. He's a funnel web spider, the largest ever recorded. And Emma Teeny, a spider keeper at the Australian Reptile Park, joins us now to tell us all about him. Thank you so much for your time. First off, exactly how big is Hemsworth and how does he compare to average? So Hemsworth is the biggest spider that we've received here, male of the funnel webs. I can actually show you, I've got him here. Um, so average funnel web spider would be around about the size of a 50 cent piece coin and Hemsworth absolutely dwarfs the coin. So stretching from tip to tip, he's 9.3 centimetres, which is about almost one and a half centimetres bigger than the last funnel web that we had. Wow, thanks so much for giving us a look at him. He's huge. Um, were you surprised to find out that he was a male? Yeah, absolutely. So females are naturally bigger than the males. And when he got handed into one of our drop-off locations, we just, you know, had a look at him and thought, oh, yeah, definitely a female. And then on closer inspection, you can actually see the spurs, which are the male sex organs. And we were like, yep, no, that's a male. So he's ridiculous. Wow. And so Hemsworth is exciting, not just because he is so big, but also he's going to join the park's anti-venom program. What is that? Yes, yeah, so in 1981, we began the anti-venom program here at the park. And since its inception, we've had no fatalities due to the funnel web spider bite. So um, here at the park, we collect the venom, we freeze it, freeze dry it, and then send it down to the laboratory in Melbourne. And they rehydrate it and they'll inject it into rabbits. Now, the rabbits don't have a fatal reaction from the venom. However, they have an immune response and that uh, creates venom resistant, resistant plasma. Now, that venom resistant plasma can be popped in. We can take the blood from the rabbit, pop it into a centrifuge, spin it, and the venom resistant plasma separates from the red blood cells. Now, we don't need those red blood cells. We can pop them straight back into the rabbit. And then that plasma, which we have, is actually able to be used to save lives of those who are bitten by the funnel web spider. Wow. And so you say that since its inception, there hasn't been a single fatality in Australia from a funnel web spider bite. Yeah, we're very proud of it. So uh, 1981, we invented the antivenom here at the park and we're the sole supplier for the venom. And since we introduced the antivenom program, there has been not one fatality. Wonderful. And I read that 150 to 200 milkings are necessary to create just one vial of anti-venom. Does Hemsworth's size mean that he has more juice in the tank? Well, yeah, I actually do describe him as pretty juicy. So <laughs> um, science does not determine their yield. However, Hemsworth is a particularly juicy spider. And are you always on the lookout for more spiders? I understand someone brought Hemsworth into you. Are you... Is this a call out that you're putting out? Do you want people to bring you spiders? Yeah, absolutely. So as being the sole supplier of Venom for the Anti-Venom program, it's so important that we have a constant supply of spiders. Now to make that harder, we only milk the male funnel web spider because he's about six to seven times more toxic than the female. And then to make it harder again, once they reach maturity, their only natural lifespan is around about a year. So we need that constant supply of males to ensure that we have a constant supply of spiders for the antivenom. How should people go about catching a funnel web spider if they do find one? So good news for them, they can't jump and they can't climb a smooth surface. So uh, if you have a smooth jar and a long handled spoon or something like that, you can gently place it in front of the spider and encourage them to walk into the jar. Once you've secured it with a lid, you can drop it to one of our drop off locations. We have them, you can find them on our website ranging from Newcastle all the way down to South Sydney. And then we'll send a keeper out each week who actually will then go and collect the spiders and bring them to us and they'll go into that life saving antivenom program.